Dragon Ball Z character. Man, I'm about to go Super Saiyan up in here. Oh, fuck, fuck, man. Hello, hello, everybody. My name is Shay Too Sweet. You can call me Shay for short. And in today's video, this is going to be Shay React. So in today's video, we're going to be doing Bill Burr on canceling dead people. Links for the original creator will not be down below. But, uh, I, but, uh, go support Bill Burr. Uh, I'll be a residential black friend talking through the whole entire thing. Uh, so let's go ahead and jump into it. Oh, before before we jump into it, you guys, um, I did search women's basketball, and apparently, I was being an asshole because I asked people to name ten. They only had twelve teams, so that's like naming all of them. <laughs> oh God! Sean Connery died. The great Sean Connery. Oh, yeah, my favorite James Bond of all time. I love Sean Connery. Yeah, and he was getting the proper send off for about eight minutes on Twitter. And then the first hairy legged white chick shows up, right? <laughs> and she's just got to be like, yeah, yeah. Are we really going to celebrate this man who advocated the hitting of women? When the fuck did he do that? I swear to God. I swear to God. I, 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 I'm going to say like this, and I mean this in the best way. I fuck, I don't like feminists because the fact of the matter is they have nothing else to do but besides bitch and complain about some shit that don't have nothing to do with them. That is a known fact. Okay. That's why I don't like them. All right. I can understand if you want to go, go to a cause that actually means something we just discussed the women's uh what do you call it basketball league go to their game support them okay uh, don't be on twitter okay Th their tickets are only like what five dollars i'm petty i'm petty i'm petty i'm petty it's like first of all he didn't advocate hitting women okay he just said you know every once in a while you give them a little slap <laughs> Yeah, give him a little back of the hand. You remind them who's making the box office. You reset their hard drive. <laughs> That's all he said, okay? Yes, it's a crazy statement in 2021. 1976, you know, it's not good, but it's not crazy. <laughs> right? And he's born in 1930. Oh. You gotta put the shit in, in historical perspective. Yeah. You ever watch, I love old movies. You ever watch movies from the 30s, 40s, and 50s? Yes. Yeah. Anytime a woman even has heightened emotion, there's some guy like, ah, get a hold of yourself, see? <laughs> yeah, go make me a pie. Put it on a windowsill. Right? I'm being so serious. If you go back, I'm not, you don't even have to go back that far. Go back and watch the original Carrie. You'll see her get slapped maybe maybe like three, four times. But in the book uh, by Stephen King, that girl was getting slapped up in an MMA fighter. Unity. That's what he grew up watching. <laughs> <laughs> I grew up in the 70s. I thought being a truck driver was a cool thing. You know, you had a monkey for a friend. <laughs> You're going around, chicks are showing their titties. I thought that that was the world. I had no idea. That's what I was watching. My thing is, is okay, so if you're going to cancel all of these fucking dead guys, and you're going to shit all over them after they're dead and they can't defend themselves, wh why are you only going after men? You know, what about all the horrible women in history? <laughs> you can't just go after the men. That would be sexist. And <laughs> this is what they don't want. You know? I mean, what about Coco Chanel? I beg your pardon? Great example. Coco Chanel, widely considered a feminist icon. She started her own purse factory, right? In the 19-teens or 20s, whatever the hell she did. I can't imagine the sexism that she had to, she had to deal with, you know? An amazing accomplish, accomplishment. Hats off to her, right? Mm -hmm. However... <laughs> She was also a Nazi sympathizer. Goddamn. <laughs> yeah. That's like half her fucking Wikipedia page. Just sitting there, <laughs> waiting for someone to read it. 
right out in the open, nothing. So evidently what happened was, in World War II, old Adolf came rolling into town, okay, with his tanks with the Porsche engines in them, took over the town in like fucking 90 minutes. She freaked out, she closes up her shop, right? Figured out where all the head Nazis were staying, what hotel, she moved in there and she started a relationship with one of the Nazis. Oh, yeah. What? She started fucking a Nazi. <laughs> oh my God. You ever see those Holocaust videos? Huh, with those piles of kid shoes? Yeah. She was sucking the dick <laughs> that did that. <laughs> now, just to refresh my memory, what did Sean Connery do again? <laughs> oh, you know, every, every once in a while you give him a little slap. That's what he did. She's sitting there like, hey, Adolf, what's going on? <laughs> She so sold out her own country, she had to flee it at the end of the war. And I have no idea how many dicks she had to suck to get back in it. Oh my God. I'll tell you, God. despite all of that, I still don't judge her. I know. Because I've never been in that situation. No. Nope. You know, I've never been in a country where all of a sudden the, the most powerful army the world has ever seen comes in and takes it over in a couple hours. She must have been terrified, right? And yeah. she's a woman. You know, she's into fashion. They show up with those Hugo Boss uniforms. <laughs> you know, her knees buckle a little bit. <laughs> Things start getting ugly. People are getting shot in the street. She's freaking out, you know. And she's a woman. And women know push comes to shove. When you get your back against the wall, no matter how bad it gets, they always have the option of fucking their way out of a situation. <laughs> They always got that card they can play, right? All women know this. Women, I, all women know this. Men don't realize this till they go to prison. But women learn this early on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, give me a minute. That's facts. Like, is is I say I say I say that's ma that's majority of facts. Cause like out of any situation, and I'm not I, I hate I don't want to be that guy. Or I, well, I I will be that that I, I I can't be that guy. I'll be that girl. But um, like it's bonus points if you're pretty. I'm feeling myself. I'm feeling myself. Then you can get yourself out of damn near anything any and everything and i'm being dead serious and i'm not even i'm not even saying like oh man i'm the baddest bitch in the world i'm not saying that but have i do i know i have an unfair advantage over over my male count counterparts oh yeah that's why that's why when it comes to like certain things that like certain places we want to get into uh certain bars we want to get into i'm he, they'll be like oh no shay we gotta wait in line i say no we don't give me a second i walk up to the front i smile and i say i have friends with me can i come in and they say yeah and then it's it's grab my homeboys right behind me and we just do 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 it's i'm not sitting like like i hate when i hate when people like i hate when people say they want equality and then i'm like no you don't <laughs> No, you don't. Like, you want equality when it comes to, like, jobs and everything else. You don't want equality when it comes to the criminal justice system. I promise you, boo-boo, you do not want equality when it comes to that. Because I, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, okay? There's so many men that get, there's so many men that get convicted over women. There's so many men that get convicted over women. You do not want equality when it comes to that, okay? You do not want equality when it comes to paying a tab. You do not want equality when it comes to that. There's certain things that, that people just skate over and be like, well, I want equality when it comes to this. But you don't want equality when it comes. What's good for the goose is good for the gander. That's why I always try to tell people, shut the fuck up. Shut up. <laughs> like, 
I love the benefits that I get. I'm not going to sit over here and lie to you. I love the benefits that I get. But I'm just like, I just hate when people are like, I want equality for this. And it's always some woke fat bitch that wants it. And I'm like, you want equality because they already treating you like a man. I speak the truth, but I guess that's a foreign language to y'all. If you had pretty girl privilege, you wouldn't want that equality. There you go. She had the option and she took it. I can't get mad at her for that, you know? So she's dead and gone. I think she's up there in heaven. I think she made it. She's up there with Sean Connery. Every once in a while they have a disagreement. He gets a little slap, you know? She doesn't care. Once you shit on a Nazi's chest, I mean, a little backhand's not gonna freak out. Jesus can't say anything, he got a hooker, right? Everybody's got a little something they did. <laughs> Let's go. Um. Let's go. Uh, do I agree with this? Yeah, I just, I just don't, I, I, I don't think, I think when people, uh, I feel like when people are dead, I mean, you canceling them, it doesn't really affect like my whole thing is, does it really affect them? I mean, life canceled them technically. So wow, really? Anyway, again, my name is Shay Too Sweet. You call me Shay for short. And like my grandmother always says, oh yeah, I didn't do a light goal for this video. Can I at least get this video to uh, uh I don't know uh uh we'll go for this, uh pick a number, any number, thirty five. 35 likes. <laughs> there you go. Again, my name is Shay Too Sweet. You can call me Shay for short and like my grandmother always states. So long. Animals and bitches feeling like the seven getting on their trail to you know I'm always stuck with them shirties. If your mama's cribbing bitch when she ain't serving the spaghetti. Hey, shit ain't sweet. You said you got the number one. Well, bitch, you miss cause it ain't me.